Folks, I am one proper Varian, and today is the day. The day that you've been waiting for, even if you weren't aware that the mod I'm about to show you was in development. Since the dawn of time, people have been asking the single most important question. Yeah, Paradox games are cool and all, but what if I could do battles in real time too? The answer to this question is Crusader Blade. This mod was announced on Reddit 8 months ago and then, for a long time, some people thought that it was lost in time and space. But as of the release of this video, this mod is now accessible to each and every one of you. How does it work? What does it do? I'll give you all the details that you need to know about in this video. When you launch Crusader Blade, you'll have to do three vital things. You have to show it the location of CK3's executable, the location of Bannerlord's executable, and how many troops you want to have in any given battle. The troop numbers here range from truly tiny, so 50, all the way to 1000 units fighting simultaneously. What matters here is how much your computer can handle. These are basically the same settings that you also have in Bannerlord itself. I've tested this with troop settings between 200 and 600 and it always ran quite well for me. Now, once you press play, it will launch Bannerlord and immediately after CK3. The interesting thing here is that I really haven't felt any performance impact as the game that is not currently active is basically suspended. There's some stuttering in my Bannerlord recordings, but that stems from me having mediocre recording settings for this game. On screen, it works just as well as if I was only running a custom battle in Bannerlord and not CK3 at the same time. So, all of this technical nonsense aside, here we are now in CK3. I got a save ready to go in which I gave the Khan of the Pachinix a bunch of prestige and created 2500 horse archers as his men at arms. Why is this important? Well, believe it or not, but Crusader Blade doesn't just let you try to fight your battles, it also tries to give you and your enemy the right proportion and type of troops. This includes both levies, men at arms and knights. Now what exactly does this mean for the Pechenegg example? Well, it really just means that the Hungarians are about to have a terrible, terrible time. We load in, and as you can see, I start with slightly more troops, because that is what it looked like when I jumped into this battle in CK3, and my army consists of my 10 knights and then an ocean of horse archers. The Hungarians, on the other hand, start with their knights, their levies, and the heavy cavalry men at arms the King of Hungary is funding. As expected, we crush them, mop them up, and then celebrate victory. Looking at the victory screen, you can see that we killed 44 out of the 124 levy units, the rest being injured. We also killed half of the armored knights and then injured all of their knights. On our side, one of our horse archers died and a number of our knights were injured. Back in CK3, these numbers are now translated proportionally into the real army numbers. Half of their armored horsemen are dead as you can see, a good portion of levies died and the rest of their troops were able to escape. An injury in the mod for a unit commonly means that they got out of the fight instead of actually perishing. You can also see that we imprisoned one of their knights and Kupan was killed on the battlefield. Knights basically have a chance to die, be imprisoned or get wounded if they are injured in Bannerlord. And this is basically the core idea of the mod. You go in, you fight, you win or you lose and then in CK3 you have to live with the consequences. Now there is something here that I do want to point out. Battles are instantaneous. This means that armies that are in adjacent baronies will not be considered for Bannerlord's battle setup. Since battles can last weeks in CK3, this of course means that your or your enemy's reinforcements can be cheesed if you trigger the Bannerlord battle immediately before they arrive. My advice is to honestly simply follow the rule of cool. Simply fight Bannerlord battles when you think that it would be truly heroic and cool. For example, your reinforcements haven't arrived yet and you have an equal battle, well that's honestly more fun in Bannerlord than a battle in which you crush someone. So make sure to, you know, start the fight before the reinforcements arrive. Have fun with it. I will however also be the first to admit that I started fighting every single battle in Bannerlord, even tiny ones, because it's just so refreshing to get it done by yourself by slicing and dicing some enemies from the back of a horse. Crusader Blade is able to usually give you fitting terrain, fitting true proportions and a satisfying battle outcome. Currently, sieges and such are not included in the custom battle generation, so it is all on the open field, but the dev would like to put them in eventually as well. He also mentioned that artifacts, buying equipment and inventory may find their way into Crusader Blade eventually, meaning that once the Royal Court drops, the mod might be able to have you create a most excellent lance and then kill people with it with your own two hands in Bannerlord. This mod is something that I never thought possible and yet here we are. I've experienced no crashes at all, but of course your mileage may vary. Actually fighting the battles is purely optional of course, so you can simply let CK3's battle resolution handle things if you don't feel like it and the performance impact is non-existent or at least trivial. Folks, make sure to check out this mod. It is honestly an insane amount of fun. I also highly recommend joining the modder's discord as feedback 
Bug reports, general wishes and conversations can be had there very actively. I'll tell you straight up that I played a lot of the Bannerlord multiplayer in which you command your own cohorts but hadn't touched the game in almost half a year. With this mod however, I am pretty sure that I will be opening Bannerlord a lot more because now it actually means something to win a battle because it all is reflected in Crusader Kings 3. And with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you are happy for this mod, then definitely check out the links in the description where you can find the Discord and the mod of course itself as well. And then I would like to thank the members of the channel, namely the Barons, the Counts and the Dukes. Thank you all so much for your support. I will see you later, alligator.